Hi right, guys, that's a big dead easy little uh, demonstration here. So I'm going to put this photograph in the description, a link to it, if you want to use this one. But make a copy and filter blur, motion blur, adjust this angle here to the direction of the travel. So I'm going roughly on the angle of the skateboard. Set the blur to, that'll, to the level you want it to be at. Select your selection tool. Bring the hardness all the way down on that bottom slider and bring the opacity down to about 70%. Okay, so what we're going to do is just take off the blur on the leading edges or to the right of the guy. So You might want to take more off, you might want to take less off. It's, uh, it's all up to you. You could always take your opacity down to 20-30% if you want and bring the blur down in stages as always if you make a, make a mistake or you want to go back a step control Z to do that yeah, so just bring out a little bit more detail in this shoe here I'm not going to do too much of this guy here and just to accentuate it a little bit, I'm going to bring the static items such as the building on the right back into view. So I'll knock my opacity back up for this. So I'll take all the blur off that. I'll take it off the ramp that he's just uh, jumped on. And you could go a little bit further, you could take the blur off all the clouds and just leave the tiny bit around him. It's up to you. Could get a bit fiddly though just gives the photograph a little bit more dimension, it gives the idea of movement. Any questions please ask, any requests please leave a comment below. If you do your own tutorials and you want to send it into the channel just send me a private message and we might be able to get that to happen. I think that's all from me, cheers and bye.